Hello, it's Tom the Beer Whisperer, and it is time for an IPA. Let's have an IPA, y'all. Sam Adams, Latitude 48 IPA. Um, 6% 60 is the particulars on this one, and this is one that I have had several times before as a most uh, serious beer drinkers. Um, some people like this one a lot. There we go. Let's pour into my Sam Adams glass and let me lead you or uh, read you a little bit from their website. Latitude 48 is a unique IPA brewed with a select blend of hops from top German, English, and American growing regions, all located close to the 48th latitude within the hop belt of the northern hemisphere. The combination of hops in this beer creates a distinctive, hey, let me get that so you can see it, uh, uh, da, 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 I lost where I was, <laughs> distinctive but not overpowering hop character. Uh, the beer is uh, dry hopped with Atinum, Simcoe, and East Kent Goldings for a powerful citrus and earthy aroma. That it has. Uh, again, it's 660. Are the particulars on this bad boy? So, I mean, you know, those are pretty standard IPA numbers, right? Not too big, not too small. <sighs> nice color. Uh, of a very light copperish, I would say, right? When you call it that. Oh, holy cow. Um, this is a likable IPA, actually. Um, is it a top ten for me? Probably not, but is it a go-to? Yeah. Uh, I, I picked it up uh, in a uh, Sam Adams uh, mix pack, you know. Um, there are so many craft brewers uh, and so much available that, you know, I tend to not buy Sam Adams very much unless they're they are uh, on a very good sale, or uh, they're in a mix pack, and I'm I'm a big sucker for a mix pack. I really am, because I've never been one of those beer drinkers that drinks, uh, you know, the same beer, beer after beer, beer beer. You know, even during the day when I'm having two, three, or four, I like I rarely drink the same beer twice. It's just kind of the way I drink. So I do, I do like the mix pack. This one came with the, let's see if I can remember, it had the Dunkle Whites, uh, the uh, Oktoberfest, the Pumpkin, uh, this one, the Boston Lager, and I'm missing one. Oh, darn. It's the Oktoberfest, uh, Dunkle, Pumpkin. Oh, hell, it's all there. Anyway, it was pretty good. Uh, and, but then, you know, they, they, they tossed this one in there uh, with the... Uh, with the Boston Lager. The Boston Lager is always in there. That's their flagship. I'm not exactly why they included the IPA, but why the hell not, I say. Oh, I don't know if you see that there. I mean, it is a highly drinkable IPA. Um, I, I think if you've got a friend that likes pale ales real well, uh, but they've tried a few IPAs and they're feeling a little too hoppy, but, but they're uh, uh, they love the, the pale. I think this this might be a good kind of a step up, you know. It's not too big. Another one is uh, uh, the uh, Boulevard uh, Single Wide IPA. I think it's only about five six percent or five eight percent, something like that. So it's it's on the lighter end. But I think I think those are, are kind of good step ups. But make sure. I mean, like I said, I mean, if they're just drinking lagers, I wouldn't jump them to here. But if they've gotten to where they, they, they love the pale, but they're not quite in love with an IPA yet, I think this is kind of a good step up because you can't taste the hops. They're in there. They're blooded very well, but it's not overpowering. You know, obviously, wouldn't go, I wouldn't jump anybody from a pale ale to a West Coast IPA. Oh, but then again, some people have the palate for these right from the beginning. I know I did. I'm one of those folks. Um... And for some people, it's kind of an acquired taste. You know, uh, you know, lobster was never an acquired taste for me, and neither was an IPA. So, mm. ah, there we go. Hey, uh, I'm going to let y'all go, but this is a Sam Adams Latitude 48 IPA. A very interesting story. Very interesting IPA. Oh, I'm going to get out of here. Enjoy the what's left of my day here.